Okay, welcome to another Orbiter 2010 video. And in this video, I want to show how to uh, rendezvous with the ISS using Transex. Now in this video, to uh, help save some time, I'm already in low Earth orbit. If you look at my Orbit MFD over here, you can see that I have a uh, 186 by 186 altitude. So I'm below the ISS. And if we look at the Orbit MFD, you can also see that I'm behind the ISS by uh, not quite a quarter orbit. And I've also taken the time to go ahead and align the plane. So these basic uh, concepts, I'm assuming that you already understand. So if you don't already understand how to get into orbit and how to align the plane, then this uh, then this video might be a little bit too advanced. Actually, let me show the Align Plane MFD here. There you can see it. Okay, so let's go about solving the problem of closing the distance and getting to the right altitude using Transex. Now it'll also help if you already know how to rendezvous with the ISS using the uh, other standard tools such as Sync Orbit but it's not necessarily a requirement. So let me go ahead and start Transex. And the first thing I'm going to do here in Stage 1 View Setup is I need to make an adjustment to go from Planets Moons over to Ships. And then I'm going to press plus plus. That's going to bring up this dialog box. And I'm just going to type in ISS. Now I can see here we have sort of this a 3D view, or maybe we'll call it a tilted view. And that's actually not the best view for for this purpose. So I'm going to go through the variables. And over here on graph projection, where it's ecliptic, I'm going to set this to focus. This will work a lot better for helping us uh, rendezvous, helping us set up a maneuver to rendezvous with the ISS. So now I'm just going to press VW to come over here to maneuver mode and turn maneuver mode on. Go through the variables. And since I need to raise my orbit, since I'm lower than the ISS, I come over here to prograde. And I'm going to add a little bit of prograde so that I can raise my orbit, you know, on the opposite side of wherever I'm at when I do this burn. Uh, this is going to be relatively sensitive, so I'm going to start with maybe maybe start with a fine setting and just start adding a little bit of a uh, prograde. And in fact, let me do this. Press Control F4, bring up an external MFD, make this nice and large, It'll be a lot easier to see. There we go. So you can see as I'm adding bit of prograde here. Change the sort of view view maneuver. You can see this dashed yellow line is starting to go out. Uh, it's getting closer to that blue circle. So obviously this green circle is my orbit and this blue circle here is the orbit of the ISS and of course the gray is the Earth's surface. So as I'm adding a little bit of a uh, Prograde, I can see that dashed yellow line extending out to the blue. And what I want to do is overlay that dashed yellow line just right on top of that blue circle. Because that will mean that my orbit altitude at that point is the same as the ISS. So I just want to get that, see here where it's coming around. And it's getting right there laid over top of the blue and coming back out. So that's probably pretty close to the right amount of prograde velocity. So now what I need to do is to come over here to the uh, date variable. And of course this is really sensitive so I need to go all the way down to uh, maybe ultra. And now I just need to find when the best time to do this burn is going to be. Uh, it's not right now 
if I were to do the burn right now, it says that my closest approach to the ISS would be about 6,000 kilometers. That's obviously not going to work. So I'm just going to advance the date until my ship is closer to the ISS so that when I do the burn, we have a closer approach. So just go around here as many orbits as is needed. That's, uh, I believe that's one orbit. I believe that's two orbits. I believe that's three orbits. It looks like here on the fourth orbit, we're getting really close. You can see the closest approach is coming down to 190 kilometers. Now we're down to 22 kilometers. So let me go to a hyper setting. And now we're down to just a kilometer. So that's about as good as that's going to get. Let me back up. And let me see if I can refine this a little bit with some, some prograde change. Let's go to a alter setting and just add or subtract until we can get this as close as we can get it. And since we actually want to eventually dock, we want to get that as close to zero as we can. Let's go to hyper setting. So according to TransX, we can get we can get ourselves within about 60 meters of the ISS. That's obviously quite good. So let me go ahead and close the external MFD and press VW to come over here to uh, view target. And I can see that this burn is 21,000 seconds away. Uh, you can figure that's probably about about four orbits because it takes it takes us 5,200 seconds to orbit the Earth one time. So let's just go ahead and accelerate time and get closer to the uh, time to burn. Okay, we're coming up here on the burn here in just 3,000 seconds, so start slowing things down here a little bit. Okay. Get into the prograde position just to start to get myself lined up. Okay, the burn is 90 seconds away. So I'm going to turn prograde off, make sure I have rotation set, and I'm going to get rotated. Use a little bit of 10x to get in closer to the time to burn. Okay. Twenty seconds. Five seconds. this last little bit here with translation as always. I'm trying to be fairly precise with this because the distances are rather small so I don't want to be off as uh, any more than I have to be off. Okay we'll go with that. Now as I bring the view back over to maneuver in turn maneuver mode off. Uh, let me tell you what I'm expecting to see. Since I went around four orbits, the time uh, the time between the time that I set up the maneuver and now has been 
a relatively substantial amount of time. So we could have different uh, permutations that could have maybe altered things a little bit. So as I turn maneuver mode off, it may be the case that my closest approach will jump from this 138 meters out to maybe five or six kilometers. Let's find out. Okay, that doesn't surprise me at all. So what I can do here is I can already do a another maneuver. I don't have to, by the way. I can go ahead and rendezvous and I can catch up to the ISS. So it'll be no problem. But let's go ahead and do one more maneuver. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> let's go ahead and do one more maneuver right here where we are just to uh, get this in a little closer. So let's go through the variables and just see which ones work. Go to uh, prograde here and we'll just add and subtract a little bit of prograde to see what that does for us. <clears throat> so that's bringing our closest approach down. Now it's going back up so let's looks like right about it's like right about there now let's go with a little bit of outward there we go let's go the other direction with it and that's bringing the closest approach down Okay, let's start with that, and let me do one more thing here before I go any farther. The date, when you turn maneuver mode on, it sets the date to whatever it was at that moment. And the date is already advanced by a little bit. So let's bump the date out to 9130. That will give us enough time to finish setting this up. That's fine. And then we can have a countdown to do the burn. So now it says I'm two kilometers out, so let me continue playing with these variables here. And again, since we do want to dock eventually, we want to get that as low as we can all the way down to, you know, just a few meters. Okay, that's as low as that one's going to get. So let's go back to prograde. And it looks like we'll get the rest of it with prograde. And there we have it, we're down to just 100 meters. Okay, so let's go over to the target view and Rotation. get rotated for the new, for the second maneuver. And this is gonna be just a very, very small amount of delta V. Shot that a little bit, so let's back it up. Okay, we'll go with that. Now as I come over to view maneuver and turn maneuver mode off, you'll see that this closest approach is uh, much closer to being on target. So there we have it. Now we're down to 103 meters, so you see doing that additional maneuver uh, helps refine that a lot. So now all I've got to do is warp time ahead to the uh, rendezvous point, which I can see is over here. Uh, but before I do that, I can, of course, bring up ComNav, press Control-I to find the frequency of the ISS, which is 130.130. So let me get that set to 130.130. Uh, there we have it. And I can select the docking MFD, change over to the docking HUD, and now all I've got to do is uh, fast forward time Rotation. until we are basically at the rendezvous point. And I don't really need transects at this point, but I'll go ahead and start it over here just so we can see 
what's going on. So let's go ahead and warp time ahead now. As I'm getting down to the last few kilometers, I do want to get rotated over to the uh, bullseye. Not actually sure what the correct terminology is for that. There's the ISS in front of us. Okay, now the main engines of the Delta Glider are quite powerful, so I'm going to get very close to the ISS before I do this um, rendezvous burn, which basically just circularizes my orbit. So just watching the distance here to the ISS, and I can get this all the way down really, really low, like a kilometer. Okay, we're getting in there pretty close. So go ahead and get rotated. And once we're just down to a few meters, or a few hundred meters, go ahead and use the main engines to get rid of this little bit of uh, relative velocity here. And we'll go with that. Translation. And there we have it. Let's go ahead and rotate around and have a look at the ISS. Okay, there's the ISS out in front of us, and you can see that our relative velocity is uh, quite low, less than a tenth of a meter per second, so we're not going anywhere. And uh, there you have it. Now all that we've got to do to dock is obviously set up our frequency and rotate and get in there. Uh, if you like this video, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you next time.